Okay, so that's that's a good point. This, this fellow just drove past shouting what? Lock him up. Referring to who? Donald Trump. President Donald Trump. Uh-huh. Former president. Former president Donald Trump. Right. And so there's a part of the population who are concerned because of all these allegations and the uh, the, the defamation of the Trump brand yes. that Trump may not be even electable again. Is, is that a concern here? Are, are, are people uh, affixed on Trump or are, are you uh, open to other candidates? Just listen to all the people honking going by. What does that mean? That means the people in the public are not buying all of these fa- false indictments. They know that this is just political interference, election interference. They're, the only reason they're doing this, they've had two and a half years to bring all these charges against them. But they bring them against them right in the election season and they announce the indictments the day after all of the house find the ha- house finds all of these things against joe biden the next day boom an indictment against trump to cover up so the media goes go. all after trump and doesn't cover all of the Wake money up. all of the money that biden has received from china from ukraine from all these questionable countries so the more he gets indicted the more we get united president trump the more the public sees through this and they're saying this is just this is just persecution this is political persecution this is what they do in a banana republic this is what they do in third world countries this is america i love this country this is the best country in the world i'm an immigrant i value my american citizenship when i when i see what's happening right now when i see what's happening right now it it maddens me it sickens me because this is not what America is about. Well, with the about, we got a, a hint that you're from where? I'm from Canada, Toronto, Canada. Yeah. About. And, and, and how is it looking from a Canadian perspective in this country? You know, I've lived here most of my life, so I'm not really sure how the Canadians are seeing this. I know the Canadians want freedom as well. The Canadians are under a tyrant, oh, no. Trousseau. And he's just Trudeau, Trudeau, and he's just taking away their freedoms. He's taking away, he's taken away the AR-15s. He's taken away their handguns now. They've had this big freedom rally across the country. Yet Trudeau is just crushing them. So Canada's not in good shape now. So I think they're envying the last glitter of hope in America, which is America, the freedoms we have here. Uh, you're here talking about or, or rallying about the border invasion, right? That's correct. The southern border being wide open. Well, what's happening with uh, people who came across into Texas? Uh, they're winding up in in typically red states. Yes. They're being shipped to red states for, for for what purpose? Because they want to di- they want to dilute the votes. They want to dilute the vote and turn those cities and those states purple to get them to vote Democrat. Because these people coming across the border say, "Oh, Democrats, great! They got us into the country for free. We're going to vote for them." They're trying to get amnesty for them for that very purpose. They're taking them to the red, red cities and the red states to turn them purple. Now, wait a minute. As a, a, a Canadian or someone who comes from Canada, to get American citizenship, to get the right to vote, yes. traditionally takes years of study and preparation, time. right? It took me a long time. I had to study. I had to prepare. I had to be interviewed. I had to go through a lot. I had to pay money. To me, it was very, very, very significant. I took it very oh, serious. No. And even still, I had, I had to wait a long time until one day I was able to go down to the convention oh, center in Los Angeles where I was sworn in yeah. as an American yeah. citizen. Uh-huh. So not only are these people cutting the line to yes. get into the country yes. as immigrants, right. but, but how do you feel about them being given voting privileges? They absolutely should not be given voting privileges. Absolutely not. That just maddens me. It sickens me. Because that is not what America is about. These people should be vetted. I'm all for welcoming people into the country, but vet them. Have a secure border, because not everybody should just be walking into this country. I'm all for people coming here, getting the right to vote, but have them go through a process to learn what our country is about. I had to. Let them make, let's make sure that they can speak English. That's, just, that's a basic necessity. I mean, how could we not require that? But they, they, they want it just because they could sway the vote. Well, China has a, str- a strong influence in Washington and in the Democratic Party. Is that true? I, my opinion, 
Yes, some of these findings from the House that came out show that Joe Biden has received millions of dollars in influence peddling from China. Millions. And that's just Joe, not to mention... Not to mention his whole family. His whole family is benefiting from it. And, and, and also uh, uh, working through uh, uh, institutions yes. and, and, uh, and yes. lobbying agencies. Oh, yeah. Yes, lobbying agencies. They've infiltrated our schools. They're, they're in everything. They're in every... Don't get me mad. This just angers me when I see what China has done and how they've infiltrated the U.S. Our school system, the Democrat Party, they basically have, have bought us. They have bought the top people in our country. And that, I'm furious about that. That is not what America is about. We're not for sale. We're, we're supposed to be a great country, and we were, but we're going downhill quickly. We are a country in decline. And unless we change something fast, we will not be a country anymore. At least not one, anything like it was when I grew up here. Uh, are you concerned that uh, there'll be another uh, pandemic that would be uh, used to... Uh, influence how the election tabulation is done? You know, uh, it is kind of strange that all of a sudden this COVID flares up again right when election season is coming. I'm not going to, I don't know. It, it would not surprise me. I'm not going to, I'm not going to jump to any conclusions. All I can say is it did last time. Let's just see what happens. It did last time, big time, big time. You think, you believe China was in on it? Well, we, we know now that it came from China, even though back then they said, oh, no, no, it wasn't a lab leak. It wasn't a lab leak. Conspiracy theories. Trump said, hey, it came from China. Then eventually they come out and say, oh, it came from a lab in China. Trump was right. Trump was right. He called it. And all of his conspiracy theorists, theorists were proven to be correct.